Oh, heck, everybody. It is Thursday. You know what that means? It's Stump the Artist time. This is Roxanne, your, your friendly internet librarian. The artist depicted on the right, over across the internet airwaves, and the artist depicted on the left is Paul. Hi, Paul. How are you? Hi. I'm great. How are you? Uh, so I am I'm pretty tired, as I uh, mentioned to you a little bit. Uh, in brief, I will say that uh, in addition to it being a Thursday, it is also the first day of uh, Moon Library's book sale, which I will mention in case you are in the Pittsburgh general area and want to get some discount books, go to Moon Township Public Library. We are doing a book sale through th Sunday, I believe, um, and it's pretty affordable, like uh, hardcover books are two bucks. Stuff cover books are one buck. We'll sometimes have food and 3D printed things. But as a result, my feet hurt from <laughs> from hauling books all over the place <laughs> for the past two days. Yeah, that's gonna wear you out. Yeah, I mean, I'm. Uh, but I, you know, it's not enough because we got these we got these evil overlords that we have to please. Yeah, they don't care how many books you put in what's in. No, no, it's. It, no matter what the number is, it's insufficient for their evil, money-grubbing needs. Uh, which is why we need to... Uh, try to do some more art, I guess. Gotta do it. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. <clears throat> so... <clears throat> What's in store for us this week? Well, besides me uh, messing up and hitting the wrong slide... <laughs> this, <laughs> this week... <laughs> so we're going to... Um, visit here. I'm going to turn the music down a little bit more. Uh, we're going to visit another part of our unestablished canon here on the second recorded episode. This is Sexy Doctor Amputee. So, one of the first uh, exercises we did on the, you know, shadow episodes, the unrecorded shadow episodes, was um, making original characters, aka OCs, as they say on the internet. The cool kids. Yes. What they say. <laughs> they're, they're totally much cooler than us. Uh -huh. um, it was a, a random assortment of traits and um, jobs. And out of that came Sexy Doctor Amputee. And I say, like, that's definitely one of the most attractive characters I have ever drawn and also in a very <laughs> fast amount of time. I mean, so attractive he develop he generates his own sparkles. I mean, he holds up. He looks just as amazing today as he did then. Oh, man. I, I, he might be immortal. I don't know. He hasn't aged a day. He hasn't aged a day. Which is, you know, make, it's pretty good considering that, you know, I think this was like, I don't know, seven months ago or something. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what I have learned is that Sexy Doctor Amputee is an actual Sexy Doctor Amputee. And, um... He came, uh, became famous because of his memoir, uh, which covers his time in the, in the war when he uh, lost his leg, as well as his time with um, Médecins Sans Frontières, aka, you know, Doctors Without Borders and the Peace Corps. And also he's a bit of a Casanova. He's, you know, his, his memoir was best-selling. Um, but... What we're gonna do today was we're like, we're not gonna show you the cover, the cover of his best-selling memoir because it looks kind of like this, I imagine. Yeah. yeah. Well, but the other thing is that because he has this, he's had such an extraordinary life and is such an incredible paramour. Um, he licensed his likeness for an official Harlequin novel-like series of books. Um. So he's kind of like sexy Dr. Amputee Fabio in that way. <laughs> and through the through the magic of the evil overlords, and also um, me and my coding friend Regis, back in the day, we made I made a um, he and I made a romance novel title generator, which uh Coincidentally, share all all of these are going are titles in the sexy doctor amputee uh, uh, canon. 
How about those odds? How about the? It's, it's extraordinary, right? They, I, we. There must be something in the code that I don't recognize to make them match up one hundred percent. Insane. So we're we're going to um. We're going to be making the covers for some of these, um, so uh, I'm going to read some out out of the list that I have just uh, found slash generated. And we're gonna we're gonna get a kick kick. Oh boy, we're gonna we're gonna pick a couple, <laughs> and then we're gonna kick them around. Um, let's see. I've got a deserter, a cowgirl, and a proposition. The meek sister. The awakening at the dunes. The tourist's wedding. The rakish. Bachelor and the hesitant librarian and a brightman, which I'm not really a fan of. I feel like it's it's a bit too close to home, but definitely, <laughs> I think I think we got some possibilities with the awakening at the dunes. I like that one a lot. Yeah, there's also the meek sister and the rakish also bachelor. Good. Yes, I feel like the Taurus wedding. You know, I think that seems pretty derivative, but all of those. Uh, seem pretty good. Paul, do you have any good ones for me? Let me see here. I have the generator in front of me as well. Uh, let's see. These ones are lackluster. There's mm. uh, her agent man, which I think is just funny. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think they wanted to license the song Secret Agent Man, but they couldn't afford it. So they just dropped the secret part and turned just it into the agent man. Yeah, so it's just it's just her agent man, and I I believe that one is um part of his spy thriller romance novel series. Yeah, less popular, but not bad. Yeah, I mean they're all very entertaining and very yeah. sexy and filled with actually good medicine because while he doesn't. He did l license his likeness for it. He does sometimes do some ghostwriting on it. And sometimes people speculate, you know, that maybe he doesn't actually ghostwrite them. Maybe he's just Stephen King and he just writes all of these under a different name. We don't know. Either way, they all have very good medicine, which is, you know, unheard of in fiction. It's truly. All right. So, uh, her agent uh -huh. man. Okay. Any other ones? Yeah. Uh, let's see. A cornflower eyed pirate. Oh, wow. Very descriptive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Let's fresh that. Not digging that one. Bewitching for the Bachelor. Oh, wow. Wow, was, wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm... Oh, boy. So, I'm going to write down some of these, because I'm going to forget them. Yeah. Maybe you should also do the same, and then... I, th I think I want to save the the what was it the bewitching something or another I feel like that yeah. will be good for our Halloween specials which is basically gonna be the entire month of October hey. uh, the tourists what is I'm really feeling the awakening at the dunes. I feel like that's the one we should go I, with today. Yeah, or at least for I like the first that one, one a lot. Because it's immediately getting some. Um. So it, it could be it could kind of go two different ways with with the awakening at the dunes. It could be a um. A, uh, Arabian Nights inspired kind of exoticist which is kind of gross um uh take on a romance novel um or i forgot what the other thing was <laughs> i mean it could also be beaches it could also that's right it could also be beaches thank you depends on where we want the dunes yes where do we want these dunes uh, either either way, I'm gonna I'm gonna help us out. I'm gonna I'm gonna move. Sexy doctor amputee. 
Just open. Just read a name for the doctor. I I don't. And for a little bit, I was like, I don't know if he needs a name. But yeah, it's all about his just his persona. Yeah. Uh, but maybe you know, it it will come to us because he's he's kind of like you know Salt Bay. Mm -hmm, and that he's mm -hmm. mostly known as Sexy Doctor Amputee, or Doctor Sexy Amputee. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Oh, there we go. That's the one I wanted. His name might actually just not be, like, what she would, like, oh, that's his name? No, no. We're yeah, calling him sexy yeah, it could just be, like, be like, mm -mm, no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave that there. Wow, it is, uh... Refusing to there we go. Okay. Now we not that we need a reference for how incredibly sexy and doctor and amputee How he could is. we forget? How could we forget? But it'll you know, he'll just be supporting us in the corner. So Awakening at the Dunes. So I better I better write this down. I see my, my horrible fast scribbly handwriting. <laughs> Sketch layer, anything goes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my god, uh, I remember the other thing now. Or it could be a Conan the Barbarian inspired oh universe. This the kind of the, your sword in sandal sexiness. I'm kind of digging that. You want to? Okay, I, I, I think, I think that's it. So then, you know. Have have some dubious looking dunes, but that means that we gotta have sexy doctor amputee and a sword and sandal like outfit. And the thing is that he he might actually know in his real life as a sexy doctor amputee um, how to wield a sword. I I would. He's the kind of guy who like. You just learn that, oh, he's good at that too? Well, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. And the thing is, it's weird, is that you're not mad about it. You're no. Right. It, he's one of the few people where you don't get mad about how incredible, like, or jealous or anything, because you, you just know that he would that he would be, like, supportive of you, no matter what. And you're just like, yeah. He's, yeah. He, he's, he's not, he's not an a-hole about it. No, he's, he just, like, he, he, he works hard. He has a lot of gifts to the world, and he knows how to give them. Okay. He knows so, how to share. So definitely. Now, um, I, I, if I remember correctly, sexy doctor amputee is is pansexual, so you can have he can be rescuing anybody and everybody. There could be a whole bunch of uh, genderless damsels. Oh yes, you know, just just damsels of, of all and any genders. Sorry, I'm late. Well, welcome. It's okay. You're you're just here to for awakening at the do at the awakening at the dunes. One of the one of the many novels, romance novels. Uh, you know, inspired by sexy doctor amputee, also starring him in a way, and maybe also written by him. We're not sure. So I think I think maybe you, you need, you know, some 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 lounging damsels and dams lords mm -hmm. over Dam there. Damsers. Yeah, yeah, sure. Damsers, yes, over there. All right. Yeah, I need to try. I'm not even like I'm just I'm just infatuated with just this. I mean, sexiness. He's that's just it. Like it's so easy to get caught in his eyes and his biceps and his his everything. Yeah, I'm not sure how the overlords thought this wouldn't happen. I, I mean, sometimes I think that they, they set these kind of traps to make us fail, because they, they kind of want us to fail, you know? Oh boy, I'm gonna have to think about how swords are done, and I'm gonna- because I'm gonna feel bad if I mess it up. <laughs> or I could just- I could just nod and just have him, like, holding an axe or something, but... 
Oh, whatever, I'll get around to it. Let me actually change my sketch color to something else. So I, I, I will request, no matter what um, gender or genders these uh, dams Lexus are, that they should all be be dressed like like Deja Thoris and the like, because I everybody in this kind of sword and sandal sort of universe is extremely scantily dressed. I suppose the better, yeah. Yeah. Which you know, you think sunburn would be an issue, but you know, maybe that's just part of uh, the the magic of this world. Is that's you don't really have to worry about sunburn. Too sexy for the sun. Yes. It just it it reflects off of his abs. You know, it so it doesn't it doesn't you know penetrate and also, sexy doctor amputee. Um, uh, just also knows the importance of sunscreen. You know, he he includes some some facts about um, melanoma in there. And how to prevent say, it. Anybody knows knows about it. You know, it's him. He can. You know, if anyone knows about preventing sunburn. Yeah. Come on. I'm preemptively reminding, putting in sparkles, so I remembered that they had, that they're there, because <laughs> they gotta be. They can't. They gotta be. They, they can't, can't be no sparkles. No, no. It's just like an aura, an aura of sparkles. Is that you got three so far down there? Yeah. I'm just I'm just putting this here. I feel like there might be a camel or something over there. It can be a fake animal. It doesn't matter. <laughs> just something in the distance. <laughs> but I really gotta I gotta get this. I gotta do sexy doctor amputee right. Gotta honor his sexy doctor amputeeness. Although, in this particular position, you can't see the yeah, yeah. the amputated leg. Just trust me that it's there. You know, he, he is an amputee, but he doesn't, you know, he doesn't, that's not a limitation for him. It's just a fact. And that's not a big deal. He doesn't throw any of it in your face. No. No, unless he's throwing sand in your face to win a fight. But that's that's right. that's only as an as necessity, you know. And I got it, got it, yes. Bracers. Boy, how do bent arms work anyway? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna change the angle of the sword so it's actually going down like this. Like he is majestically pulling it out of a body or something. Or something. Or something. You know, maybe it's some kind of eight-headed beast that he had to slay. Which is conveniently off the canvas. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't see it. Oh boy, this 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 might be a, a double sketch color scenario. Hoof, hoor, horf. It already is. I mean, let's be real, Z's here. You know, some sometimes you just you just gotta lay on the different colors. Let's do a purple.
So I, I, I imagine that this is like one of the spin-off series. You know? Oh yeah, they didn't they didn't start, you know, uh yeah, they, they didn't go straight into fiction? yeah they didn't they didn't go straight into kind of hybrid genre, um, but you know they're they're the demand for these books is extremely high, so they you know they had to cycle through the genres a bit. Yeah, yes, I think I think this angle's better. Of course, I'm having the artist regret of picking something that was a bit too complicated for me to draw. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'm, I'm having the same issue. It's just, a Sexy Doctor Amputee does that. He just makes you want to try really hard. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna regret going to this line layer. I'm gonna tell you what. But... I, I will regret it. Sexy Don Dr. Amputee will not. Because he believes it. He has us. no regrets. Yeah. No, his, his regrets are, you know, not saving enough people when he, um, when he went to Sub-Saharan Africa. I wish I could have done more. Yeah. He has been known to say. He's he's extremely compassionate and but he you know he is he is just one sexy doctor amputee man. He can't he can't do everything. He can just do most things. I'm trying to get those compassionate eyes in. I'm doing the thing where I'm like leaning way too close to the canvas when I can just zoom in. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> ah, technology. Oh, that's right. We have that. <laughs> we have we have the technology and also just technology. Gosh, I, I need to remember these things more often. So I'm trying to do it. So what is, what is the name of the, of the planet that he's on or land? I want to say something like Malakar. I like Malakar. Malakar. Because it has Mal in it, so that mean that that's how you know it's full of evil, and that's why it needs a hero like him. Now his book persona. Mm-hmm. Does book persona have a name? Oof. So this one, you know, I it, his his name might change depending on you know which book it is. So it needs to be something like simple and strong, um, but also compassionate and uh, fantasy ish. That's a lot of requirements. I just realized that. So you had a lot like a, oh already no. very bad at spot. This is the sketch layer. Don't about the details too much. Trying to th trying to think of uh, pulp hero names other than Conan, and I'm not coming up with much. What was I guess He Man's real man name was just Adam. Adam is a 
classic one. Mm hmm. Nope, I need to move this whole thing. But I, I think that's just a little bit too ordinary. Unless this is like a High Plains Drifter scenario where he doesn't actually have a name. And he's just the hero. I do not buy it. Like, like, like Hero Yui, it's just spelled slightly differently. <laughs> oh boy. Let's, let's maybe let's maybe work on a different angle since we're blanking on his name. So the planet is Malakar. What is the evil villain's name? Who is it? Very campy because they're always very campy. Could it also be Malakar? <laughs> Did he name the planet after himself? I mean, all right. So the camp says that yes, he very well could. Hmm. Um, mm, I like I like alliteration. Like mm -hmm. maybe we get like an M in there. Okay. Okay. Mm. Mal. I'm just gonna I'm gonna put, gonna put. Malthia. No, that's. That's Malthia. There, I mean, there's there's like Melchior, and we could just spell it with a K. Or even just put in put an F in there for no reason. Melchioreth. Melchioreth. Just put a question mark here, which is the I don't know option. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man, these locks. These locks, buddy. They Luscious. are they are a flowing. Maybe, maybe just Maladon? I think Mal should be in there. Maliath. Maliath? Yeah. Maliath. I think we can go with that. Like, Maliath, the, um... The Goliath of Malachar. <laughs> Maliath, the Goliath of Malachar. Yes. <laughs> Erasing. Apple. His his name was probably just like Melvin at some point, and then he just named himself Moliath because it sounded cooler. Yeah, he can't very well be called Melvin, and so he, you know. Yeah. Gotta establish your dominance. You know, it's just part of the whole evil, evil persona thing is that you have to reinvent yourself. Which is something that a lot of serial killers do. <laughs> oh. huh. How about that? I mean, it's it's, it's something that a lot of um, people do when they want to um, reinvent a myth about themselves so that way they seem more important. Which is why serial killers do that. And I'm sorry for making this a bummer all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm making his symbol his, uh, 
stethoscope. Gosh, I've seen... I just keep thinking of um, the Mystery Science Theater episode of Outlaw of Gore way too much right now. Enlighten me, because I'm not familiar enough with specific episodes. It's okay, because I am, and it's um, that's that's my life. Well, it oh. is it is a it is this genre a, a sword and sandal fantasy. Um where the um, protagonist's name is Tarl Cabot. Tarl. Ta yeah, with a T. Okay. And I mentioned that because it threw me off for so long because I thought I was hearing it wrong. It's gotta be Carl, right? Yeah, it, used to, like, it has to be Carl Tabot. No, it was Tarl Cabot. And they made sure that I knew it because there was a scene where everybody says his name like five times in a row. Carl! Uh, but it is... I, I think this particular kind of chest piece thing might actually be in there, which he wears at some point. If not, it's definitely in, in Ator. Which is another sword and sandal uh, mystery science theater episode. I watched. I watched a lot of them. Maybe all of them. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I feel like this genre lends itself very well to mystery science theater. It absolutely does. Um, because it's a got. It's a lot of you know cheap production values, and you know. As 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 I see that you have put here, <laughs> incredible boobiness, Oops. and and like and not in for both men and women, because uh, you know you again you can't you can't see below here, but that I'm sure that that like it's it's like a loincloth. I'm sure there's not a lot covering it. Oh, for sure. I think you, I haven't gotten there in my sketch piece, but uh, here, wait. Let me just do a quick <laughs> red. So you can see it, but uh, the way I have this going here, mm. who knows if there's anything oh. any close? Oh yeah, yeah. Under behind this, who could say? It's just, but, it's know. just such incredible sexiness. We can't even tell. Mm -hmm. Um, evil overlords might be disappointed in us. We might only be able to get one cover done today. It's just, it, it's I so, mean... it's so important to us that we get it to just the right around of right amount of sexiness uh yeah 100 percent. this is this is no easy task yes and i say that in a sarcastic tone but i don't mean it sarcastically wow i am completely messing up where the hell goes no wonder i felt like i was like having a big brain fart <laughs> i know how swords work mm, eh, mm. how do swords how do swords work i i think they're pointy So that means we'd be going. Bring up the panel a later. Yeah, we got we got a lot of sexy sexiness to worry about first. Oh wow. I'm gonna turn off the sketch layer and Oh holy cowza. Alright. I got I got taken in by his by his handsomeness. He's incredible. And also I need to get the rest of his arm in. <laughs> also that shoulder should probably be up. So we've 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 established that it's 
um, sexy doctor amputee fighting Mal Malayath the Goliath, which he dubbed himself, um, in the the, the sun scorched, incredibly dangerous land of Malakar. But we have not established the plot of this particular this particular entry in the series. Now, yes. Now, how many how many Dam's Lexes do we have? Three over there. I've got three. Okay. The plan is to have three, although I'm stuck on a, on a thumb here. That's... Because uh, thumbs are like swords. <laughs> how, does, how do you do it? How, how, how do they work? Well, you can see I'm, I'm doing equally as well here with uh, hands <laughs> and arms. Y'all, we're, we're, you know, we've already, we've already failed the evil overlords and that we're only going to get one cover done. <laughs> You can't see me, but I'm holding my hand out. Mm-hmm. Uh, my way. Oh yeah, you're you're doing that thing. I'm I'm yeah. familiar. You you can just, you can you can tell an artist is having a rough time when they just like stare at their hand and then they look back at their thing and they stare at their hand or they do they do the same thing but in a mirror. That's just you know means means we're figuring something out. Let's just go. Just get this. Just get this done. I remember to put in a sparkle. <laughs> More will come in. Don't you worry about <laughs> that. See, now I'm doing the thing with but with a fist. Okay. <laughs> I knew it was looking and wrong are hard <laughs> you know it's true human human bodies um especially hands and feet are hard and we're not working with references we're this is all this is all off the cuff of rooney why 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 are people so complicated why you know there's a lot of sinew i guess i'm sure um sexy dr amputee and his in his non sexy doctor amputee barbarian persona could explain it to us as to why humans are so complicated in a very eloquent but not talking down kind of way um but that's currently uh not happening it's not happening although i suppose if people were just gelatinous blobs it would be even harder to just capture their sexiness. Oh, yeah. Although I guess we would have different standards of sexiness were yeah, that the case. Like how many cells mm. do our single celled organisms? Oof. I don't, I don't, I can't even think. My, my, my God. Nope. Change my mind. Yes, I forgot I had such luscious locks over here as well. Actual fact about uh, Sexy Dr. Amputee is that um, his hair is, is it just seems to permanently billow in an extremely attractive way. Which no one can really fully explain. Not even him. Fans, no fans involved, no wind. And it just kind of like something about its innate lusciousness is just capable of doing that. Well, okay, so it's called. The, it's, I forgot that it's called the Awakening at the Dunes. So. The awakening. Okay, so we got we got to incorporate oh, the awakening. Yes. Okay. So so the awakening is maybe it's it's usually in these kind of scenarios an awakening of power. So, I'm I'm thinking maybe 
um, our our damsel exes are the ones experiencing the awakening. And Maliath is threatened by this. Because he can't have, you know, these representations of the triple goddess of the three sons. Oh, that's good. Thank you. <laughs> um, achieving their awakening on on this planet. Because they, they would be able to uh, you know, harvest the sun in, in non- uh, deleterious ways, which means bad. I was just gonna ask. <laughs> you will probably learn a new word every time you watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> from me. Because I read a lot. Um, <laughs> okay, I know what I'm doing wrong with this headband. I know what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, all the more reason to, you know, support your library. Yeah, there, of it's, course. It's yeah. Education. Absolutely. Law. There we go. I, th I think I, I think I figured out what I was doing wrong, which is that I was putting too much of it underneath. Oh, oh, yes, over the, uh, over the headband. What's it going to? What's going to be? There we go. There we go. I think, I think I've, I think I've fixed the lusciousness of the hair a little bit. Again, he would have no problem with it. He would just be proud that we were doing something, um, you know, at all. That, you know, was a use of our skills that we didn't actively hate. Because he's all about self-actualization. Which is why he supports the awakening of the represent representation of the, of the triple goddess. Exactly. Self-actualization. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, come to think of it, the uh our overlords mm -hmm. and uh the sexy doctor amputee would not get along oh absolutely not sexy doctor amputee is an ardent supporter of public libraries and all and, and education because he would not be the doctor part of sexy doctor amputee without education and without his local library And he said exactly that. Mm -hmm. He doesn't always refer to himself in third person, but he just does that because he knows that, uh, you know, sometimes it's just easier for people to understand. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have to let that arm go. I'm just gonna have to let it go and stop trying to fix it. Just so hard to catch the, all the all the sexy. Ah, uh, it really is. It's it's a struggle. It's 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 like looking into the 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 triple sun goddess, uh, her visage too much. It starts to burn the corneas, and you don't- you cannot see. Except for the glory of her. So yeah, Sexy Doctor Amputee is- is supporting, uh, the Dam's Lexus. Not only because he is an extremely attractive pansexual man, but because he supports actualization toward the actualization of people's potential. And wants them, and wants them, all three of them, to be happy. Even if that means that they stop being, you know, the the triple goddess for him. But he, you know, he specifically knows that uh boy. That, that, that Maliath, I had to look up and check, that Maliath <laughs> guy sure doesn't like it when, uh, when people try to steal the sun from him, which is what, which is what he says. He's just not what I'm about. No, not, not at all.
canvas with my hand, and I'm leaving dots everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I I think it's all right. I think you know we can just say that it's the um, it's it's because it's gritty. You know the the it's kind of a gritty cover. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Dunes. Yes, 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 dunes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hashtag dunes. Hashtag dunes. And so, sexy Doctor Amputee Barbarian is is just a wandering hero, and he hears their cries as they are uh, taken captive, so that their power can be harnessed and then they can be unceremoniously slaughtered, or ceremoniously actually probably would be ceremoniously given the the setting. He'd probably be extremely ceremonious. Oh yeah, a lot of a lot of uh, ceremony. Mm -hmm. Nope, I can't. I can't give it up. I can't get up. Give it up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will keep trying until there is no more try. What are you? What are you? What are you stuck on? I I I fixed his his shoulder a little bit. It still needs yeah. to be fixed, but you know, we we're 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 already we're we're on a deadline. <laughs> yeah, I may have a uh, bit off more than I. We guess. both did, which is why we're only doing the one cover today, which will extremely disappoint the evil overlords, but you know, there there are many many of these to come. We'll make up for it. Specifically of the, of the Sexy Doctor APT series. I feel like I went too hard on the abs and now they look weird. <laughs> you ever just go too hard on the abs? No, I don't know. Just on ab day. Not, <laughs> not, not I've us. I've never done a crunch in my life. I have, and I'm okay at them. Try <laughs> done a crunch in gym class. There we go. Cleaning some of this up. So. Hey. Don't. What? What's going on? Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Hit, hit, hit. Here we go. Almost, almost, almost got that hand. So we, we might have just like just barely enough time to get some color in here. But I will. Do you want me to help you out with the? Uh... I don't know if I'm gonna make it come. All right. Do Do you want me to try to add in some some of this the sexiness over here? Oh. Paul, do you need an assist? It's okay. I might need an assist. Okay. Running out of time. It's all right. I'm here. It's just you know. You can't the... rush sexy. We, you can't really. You cannot rush sexy. I need to use a smaller brush for this. Here we go. All right. Whoop. Nope. I cannot do that. Okay. Okay. I don't want to. Ooh, those are some weird looking boobs. All right. <laughs> do you want to do you want to take a break and draw some dunes 
and then the three sons. I'm gonna. Uh, all right. yeah, I've been looking straight at this for so long. Yes, I, th I think you you need to to take a break. This dude needs some nips. All right, now we're good. Everything's fixed. Yes. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. All right, dunes. Oh goodness. I've forgotten all about the dunes. Yeah, because it's the wa the awakening in the dunes. So we cannot do... cannot forget about them. I'm gonna go with an asymmetrical outfit on this particular dam's lex. I'm gonna I'm gonna add, make a, a counter some controversial ads to your dude. What's controversial about? That it's gonna be like some weird stuff coming off his nips. Oh, tassels. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna make him just some nice. Here we go. That that looks like they're hairy. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the sexy no. No. Okay. No, we'll just we'll just do kind of a harness look. Some more of that badooty in there. A dude. That's definitely how you say booty. That's definitely how they say booty in their world. Yeah, you think Tatooine is hot and deserty? Wait for this. Uh, you know, you the, no the, idea. The, the triple sun planet. You have to just Malakar. No, what should be Uh, do you need to lose the sketch layer? You can absolutely take it away. So we can clean things up a little bit. But I think I think I made an extraordinarily sexy outfit for that man. Oh yes. So Color. Oh. Oh. Sepia tone. Is it? It's. Did you got a messed up uh, color layer? Uh oh no! I just realized that if I color with the sketch layer, it just kind of works as a. Oh neat! Today we learned. Thanks, sexy Dr. Amputee. Taught me so much. About ourselves and each other, and about how the sketch layer works. Let's do it all. Oh, I know. Let's just hide that with the... some weird necklacing going on. Nope, it looks worse. <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright, I don't know, let's just hide it. <laughs> so we can actually take this hand with this. He's running his fingers through it. Oh, it's because it's so luxurious. He's absolutely luxuriating. I don't even know if we're gonna have actually time to, to, to color this one any more than we already have. So I'm just gonna, I know, right? I'm just gonna be adding some more sparkles then. <laughs> yeah, more sparkles better. And uh, we'll erase. Nope, that's definitely not an eraser. This is though. <laughs> No, but I will put the uh, the title in, co in a oh, color. I forgot, I yeah, that. I was gonna say, where are we gonna put the title at? I'm thinking maybe, maybe a good purple, and I'll pick a- see if I got a nice thick brush. Definitely enough. This definitely needs to be further down. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope, nope. I changed my mind. I'm gonna stick with it. We'll fix it in post, of which there is none. <laughs> Put it live, which we are doing. <laughs> the Awakening. Was it at the dunes or on the dunes? Let's check our notes. It's on the dunes, but I don't remember. At the dunes, okay. See, I was wrong. Like this. So I think it's funny that where we have his little uh, mm -hmm. sexy doctor amputee, it looks like a like a little. I was thinking uh, like we because I was gonna put like a sexy doctor amputee book, but now it just kind of looks like one of those like uh, whatever marks that they are, like I don't know series indicator pictures. Yeah. Yes. A sexy doctor amputee novel. That's exactly what it is. The Awakening at the right, Dunes. I can properly look at him now, now that I'm paying full attention. Looks yeah. just incredible. I, you know what? That mane. I... Those eyes. Those abs. The, the, the everything. The everything. <laughs> the everything. Oh, wow. And I'm, I'm very happy with your, with your damn Lexes. And they're oh, good. Thank you very much. And they're scantily clads. <laughs> yes, which is they certainly are. Which is not a phrase. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need to take a picture of our of this this glorious first first entry in the sexy doctor amputee canon. And what a first entry it is! Oh, it's as glorious as his mane. MPT book colon oh. the awakening at the dunes. Oh, can't 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 do a colon. I'm just gonna have to call it the awakening at the dunes. <laughs> oh yes. Well, I wow. I would say that we may have gotten somewhat stumped 
Yeah. But, but I think we made the best of it. I, you know what? I, I think I think we did we did end up game, being somewhat stumped. I think we came out. We with rose a, to the challenge. I, we we came up with a sufficient result. <laughs> I'll put yes. it like that. Yes. I I mean, I I'm I keep going back to the the w one aspect of the triple goddess and the way he was luxuriating his hair is amazing. <laughs> I'm yeah. very much into that. <laughs> Basking in that sunlight. Oh yes, absolutely, absolutely. I'm glad that you took my direction of they all need to be scantily clad, all of them, mm -hmm. to heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, because sexy doctor. Went for it. Yeah, I mean he's just gotta go go for it. Oh yeah, I mean I imagine that there's a big hair toss at some point. Ugh, ugh. All the characters at the same time do hair. All of it. You know, it, it's just, they have different hair hair types, but they, they all have luxurious. It's all, all luxurious in their own ways. Oh, buddy. Okay. Well, yeah, I think, I think that's it for us. For our second <laughs> film, Stump the Artist, we did kind of get stumped this time, but Sexy Dr. Amputee, even in his barbarian he Carried form, us. Yeah, he, he carried us, and he said it was okay. Ugh. So, I will now go to the one that I was uh, supposed to <laughs> do earlier. Um, I will say thank you for watching. It is indeed Love Your Library Month. So all your all donations to Moon Township Public Library and uh, other eligible libraries in Allegheny County will be doubled. This also includes uh, anything that you buy at the book sale, which is going on, I believe, uh, the next two days from... 10 until 7 um one and then i believe saturday 10 to 6 and then sunday is going to be 10 to 3 um most items are like most so like books are usually about two one to two dollars super cheap we'll also also have 3d printed items um av materials such as movies and music and um you know tchotchkes like uh, Moon Library themed mugs and um, I believe tomorrow um, we will be having I think popcorn and pretzels for sale and maybe hot dogs I might be getting my days mixed up but we will definitely Ooh. have some food for sale if you want to come out and get snacks too and anything that you buy it will be doubled so please buy some extremely cheap books this is way better than Amazon for multiple reasons mm -hmm. either way yeah Support your local love your library. library like you would love sexy dog. Yes, and and he because he definitely loves his library like that. He loves you. Yes, and he loves you. Love your library. <laughs> love your sexy dick, Doctor Amputee, the way that they would love you. <laughs> Art. Just yeah, I can't I can't sign off any better than that. <laughs>